the Oscars are, I mean, you, you probably didn't hear this. The Oscars are Sunday. Uh, the nominees are getting an insane swag bag. They're worth 78 grand. Some of the goodies they're getting include a 12-day cruise, meditation headband, Vegas, or not Vegas, but just really nice hotel stays like this place, uh, weed vape pen, like the Oscars <laughs> need help putting people to sleep. Uh, hmm. But there's always a lot of stuff in there. Have you heard about these? I've heard about them. I just feel like the people of color are like, save the bags, we just want to get nominated, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we'll trade you. <laughs> There's also, there's some really good ones too. There's a, they give, they're giving um, Old Spice deodorant. They're giving Pepperidge Farm cookies. I'm like, these are the items my grandfather was buried with. <laughs> <laughs> is this sponsored buried by with. Rite Aid? Like what is this? <laughs> there's also a soy candle. Uh, I don't want a soy candle. I want the goop, I want the goop vagina candle. Yeah. I got one. I've been flicking that wick for weeks. And Girl, I was like, Girl, with that every day. <laughs> They have one, it, it smells like Dame Judi Dench. <laughs> oh, you mentioned Kirk sell. Douglas passed away. That was what I was thinking is how far the Oscar swag bags have come. Cause like when he was getting nominated, it was just- Soap on a rope. It was <laughs> talcum powder and a pack of Lucky Strikes. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> a wheel. <laughs> I just feel like in a Me Too movement, the only thing they're missing out is a good rape whistle. You know, that's what they need to do. <laughs> it can be a good whistle, like engraved with a little bit of attitude. Yeah. The Oscar now comes, it's a whistle. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the vape pen is, they're using marijuana. <laughs> okay. Meryl Streep. <laughs> Meryl Streep, stay close. There's no pressure to vape, though. It's Sophie's choice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Can I get the check? Can I get the check? Can I get the check? But it's hard because they all get the same thing. If you're Anthony Hopkins, you're like, oh, a vape pen and a yo-yo. Like, what is that? <laughs> That's like Christmas wants. for him. <laughs> yeah, they also have prop bets. Like at the Super Bowl, prop bets are in. You can bet on things like who will win, best actor. Will Brad Pitt bring a date? Like, these are real ones. I put 10 grand on <laughs> Renee Zellweger singing the national anthem. Oh. That's six to one. If I, if I bet a dollar, I win six. Cool. I might. Finally making some money in this business. Yeah. I'm gonna bet that Catherine Zeta-Jones comes out center stage in the Kirk Douglas Memorial and says, he had it coming, he had it coming, he had it coming all along. Right? Get some theater up in there. I will take that action. I will take that action. Look, I, I think Brad Pitt wins Best Supporting Actor, and I think presenting it should be Jennifer Aniston and Angelina Jolie together. <gasps> they walk them out. And... <laughs> That's some like Mortal Kombat shit. But she should, Angelina should be dressed as Maleficent because that's how Jen sees her all the time. Correct. Like, I think they should queen. wear, I think they should wear the exact same outfits and people have to choose who wore it better. Bitch! <laughs> and they don't even stand next to each other and they're presenting, they're on opposite sides of the stage. Yeah, they have to radio it. And when, Guys, when stop. Jen says it's the winner, she's like, oh, the winner is the person you had kids with. <laughs> Am I the only one hard right now? <laughs> no. Okay. No. Well, I would place a bet. I think Jennifer Lawrence will fall again. Well, her tits will fall. <laughs> we saw those nudes and thems are heavy. <laughs> <laughs> thems are heavy? <laughs> Jesus. Well, I say my bet is they're gonna, how many times they say Timothy uh, Chamalama Ding Dong's name wrong? <laughs> it's Shamalama Ding Dong. Shyamalama. Yeah. If he gets mentioned during the ceremony, you have to let John Travolta say the name. Oh! Right? Yeah. Yes. He's it's gotta time. be the guy. It's time. it's time. And then I do actually, I was in Vegas two weeks ago, I placed money on Best Picture, and I bet on 1917. I think that's the most relevant story to Hollywood because it's two scared white guys feeling attacked. 